to be free. I hear voices every day. They tell me ugly things when I know God loves me. I detach her from all of that now. Stop. I break every generational curse. I break every curse of witchcraft sent upon her life now. And I cancel every demonic covenant of witchcraft that happened from past generations upon her life. Every last spirit of witchcraft must leave her in the order you entered her now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Michelle Silva. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. So it was about two years ago when she was out in the park and my mother, she was going through, she had a lot of um, unforgiveness and she was physically getting sick. So we took her and at that point I was very skeptical because I grew up in churches um, where I didn't really see the move of God. But you know, because of our need, we took my mom, we took her. She was completely healed from it. She was freed. That's how it started, and here I am today. And God continues to move through her. It came by here today to become completely delivered from all forms of witchcraft and fear. I knew I had to come near to anointing, so I kept coming closer to where she was at, and I completely surrendered God and asked God to forgive me and to help me to begin this new year fresh. And then all of a sudden she was praying over someone else and I felt the anointing being released and I started manifesting. My body went all different directions and they put me up on stage and my eyes, I felt like they were shut. Like I was there, but I wasn't really there. I was like in the back seat. And her anointing, God's power was so strong in her. And God bless her, God bless this church, because it completely, I felt so many leave, so many leave. And I felt like, not only from my life, but from generations. And I was like, wow. And then later I felt the move of the Holy Spirit come over me. And I was like, man, God, this is the year and how everything will change. I feel so much love so much peace joy so here was my dream with Catherine. so i was sleeping and i saw that she was right next to me to my left and we were on a zoom call and there was this little girl and she had she was physically sick and it first started that i saw that i started casting out any spirit of infirmity or anything that she was going through and i remember i pointed my finger and then she looked at me and that bright smell she had she was like See? And then after that, I started putting healing, praying for healing for her. And she was getting delivered. She was manifesting through the video. She was being healed. And then my next dream was that kind of, I was kind of like, I would say that I was doing sex work and I was in a group of other with other people and there was a leader. It was kind of like Satan, you know? And we were following him and I look in the mirror and it doesn't look like me. Like I look like completely different, but I would follow everything that he will say. And then all of a sudden one of us started disobeying him and he started killing off each and every one of us until it was my turn. And that's why it says like the result of sin is death. So he would kill all of us and it was finally my turn and I saw that they killed me. I was on the ground and then later in this room, this dark room, there was Satan and his minions. It was like a mafia kind of. And they were eating us. They, were, they cut off our bodies and they were eating us. And then I saw at the end and it says the result of sin is death. And so it was kind of like two opposite directions. One was God and one was the enemy. And they would tell me, they would, they would call me horrible names. They would, they would call me a prostitute. They call me like a bunch of vulgar names. And I, and then there was a couple other dreams too. I saw myself like a witch because Satan steals God's gifts. So I was, I shared it with my family and I was like, oh, I, I wonder 
you know I wonder when I'm gonna you know be completely free because it's been such a long process of deliverance so now I'm completely free <laughs> so glory to God hallelujah to God